Larry Sheridan, pleased to bring you all the action. This, of course, the 13th consecutive season that we've been privileged to provide coverage for this tournament, and we hope that wherever you are throughout the United States, either in the eastern area uh, or anywhere in the country, that you're enjoying this match. And it's going to be a humdinger as we get underway with the first match coming up here at 118 pounds. On the mat for Syracuse University, the number one wrestler in the United States hailing from Pompton Lakes, New Jersey with a record of 19-0 in dual competition, Gene Mills. And for Lehigh, it's Bobby Weaver, 5-2 from Eastern Pennsylvania. And now he's the voice of Lehigh Wrestling, Larry Sheridan. Larry? Weaver immediately in on a nice power roll, taking the three-time Eastern champ and one-time NCAA champ to the mat. And an escape, going out 2-1. Bob Weaver of Lehigh. And Gene Mills of Syracuse. Score two to one. Referee Mark Piven. Weaver putting Mills close his back. Picking up two. Now Lee. Four to one. Bobby Weaver of Lehigh. A unique here. You're having two Olympians wrestle. Both members of the 1980 Olympic team. Weaver made the team at 105. Mills made the team at 115. Escape goes out. to Mills, four to two now. Bear in mind that Gene Mills seated first. Nothing yet. Bobby Weaver second. Gene Mills. Nothing yet. Nothing yet. Weaver trying to come around and gain a reverse a takedown. He's up high on these figure four. Working feverishly to contain him with 35 seconds to go. No takedown. And now Mills comes out the back door to tie up the score at 4-4. Weaver going for what we call a cheapy. It's, uh, it's got that tilt situation. And he gets a two-point near fall. I'm not demeaning the hole, but uh, it's known among the wrestling fans and the officials and the coaches that particular tilt is called a cheapy. C-H-E-A-T-I-E. First period ends, and Gene Mills of Syracuse leads Bob Weaver by a score of 6-4 here at 118 pounds in the EIWA tournament. Fred takes bottom. Mills seated Lehigh first, Bobby Weaver seated second. Here's the near fall coming up. Okay, it's a combination that Mills has used second all period year. He gets six, tight waist and four, pulls the rest for back red. and exposes the shoulders to the mat. Back we go to mat action, second period. Mills sits out and no. gains an escape, scoring out 7-4. Gene Mills, national champion, to concentrate on his bid for the Olympic team and did make it at 115. This is unique to have two former champs as Weaver picks up the takedown and ties, makes the score 7 6. You have two members of the 1980 Olympic team battling out for the supremacy of the EIWA. Easy. Bob Weaver, yes, he locking is. hands. As they go to their feet, you will see. Stop the bout, yeah, that'll right. be a lock in. Make the score now, eight point. six. He locked. One point, one in the middle. As long as his knee's down, you can't lock, even though you're standing. Ready? Four. Oh. Three, Mark Piven. Still down. Two minutes and 15 seconds lock. remaining here in the second no period. No escape given, 8-6 lead for Gene Mills of Syracuse in the battle for the EIWA Wrestling Championship here at 118. Perhaps the best pinner in the United States on the mat right now in Gene Mills. He's pinned everybody in this competition thus far. So we were giving him a masterful job so far. Could have a stalemate here. Oh, no, Weaver comes around yeah. with a reversal now, and Mills now moves ahead by a score of 10-6, picking up two. Here comes that uh, cheapy. One, two, three, four. As soon as he gets to five, he'll only two. Two near fall. It's a tight waist. One, two. That really hurts. Two. 
Mills will tilt you all day with that. In fact, he's 14 got 14 to 6 is the score right now. Among his dual meet victories this year, one of 42 to 0 and one of 36 to 0. And I think Weaver's ribs now are going to cause a little time out here. 14 6. Let's go. Weaver did injure his ribs uh, in practice one about a week ago. In their second period, fellas. Quite sensitive. He's still set on top. 116 now in there's the half Nelson and the far wrist and as I said so often he's the most dangerous half man half Nelson man in the country referring to Gene Mills and again pulls his opponent back lifts the leg and picks up near fall One, points two three four two point near fall and again, back up with the half. Score now 16 to 6. Favor Mills, there's the half. Got the far wrist. That's where that's his control situation. Takes the wrist, throws the half. There's the half. Now he goes to the far wrist. You right on the bottom. I know Weaver's ribs are really hurting in that tight waist in that situation. Two. Three, four, 16 seconds, and another two-point near fall. Score now, 20, and those two ribs points. have got the clock, please. Momentary injury timeout now to Weaver. We want to take a moment and express our thanks to many of the people who made our program possible. Here at Princeton, our thanks to Chet Dalgowitz, tournament director. Seconds remaining in the final. Again, the, the half, the far period. wrist. Nothing. Time running out in the second period concludes, and it's a long 20 to 6 lead for Gene Mills of Syracuse. Last period, fellas, scores 26. You all right? Put the clock back on. I think Weaver's. Uh, Put that injury clock. You're immediately, there you see the two Syracuse coaches. Harlan on your already short pair of ribs. Score 20 to 6, third period. Half Nelson, far wrist. Point, two. Three, four, five. Weaver now in a body press situation as Mills pins him and picks up his fourth straight pin. Mills to Syracuse, pinning Lehigh's Bobby Weaver in the finals at 118. Fourth straight pin for Mills, and of course he'll pick up the uh, Fletcher Award also. That's his fourth EIWA title as he, you see the body press coming in here, just working his way, and watch the referee's right hand signifying the fall as both shoulders hit the mat for one second.